big welcome to you cancer today the sun now is in aquarius and the moon is in cancer right and i'm just gonna go quickly into what the sun right the energy of the sun when it is in another sign and then opposite of you of course which the moon the interior right the sun again the exterior is in looking up in the hope right and it started this hope energy started with the inauguration right and in the inauguration it was almost like people were like yes there is hope there is hope of um, peaceful way of talking to both sides right isn't this what we're looking at right the black cannot be without the white and the white cannot be with the black it's this never-ending game that we have to understand is playing out up in the sky so below so when the sun is in the air sign right and the moon right now in a water sign these are two different energies right one is very light one is quite heavy course not as heavy as earth but still water can come up to you right or can come up to the star right so here we see the evolution of this card here what I really like is that she gave, gives herself the light so that she can give the light back down to us here the star in itself because here all of them are women the star card though is androgynous right there is not really a, a male neither a female energy uh, connected with it so it's just the star and then of course here again this card also water and earth right she has one foot on earth now i painted this one for the star card and again it's it's just a feeling right this infinite eight because it's the card number eight it's eight stars, right? It's seven small ones, like we can see here, and one big one, right? One star that has become us, right? These stars falling down, coming down, the five senses, the infinite eight symbol behind, and we're falling down and are becoming the stars, right? I also painted it like this in combination with this one, I'm still not sure how I'm gonna literally in the end make this card work, right? It's not easy. There's so much information that I would like to pack into and sometimes it's almost too much, right? We don't want too much in there uh, either, right? Then the moon in the chariot, which is you, my dear Cancer, right? You are success. You are going forward. We have here the chariot. We have the black and the white. And again, black and white give each other contrast. Without it, we would not even see anything written here, right? So only black, it's not working. Only white, it's not working. The contrast makes it. And this is what we need to learn we need to learn to live together the black needs to learn to work with the white and the white needs to learn to live with the black it's it's always the same game right like here it is about the lightest day right this is what cancer is about so i painted you with the horse right the ashra Ashra Sanchalan Asana. I really like this position. I do it a lot in my sun and moon salutation, particularly. So here <clears throat> you can see <clears throat> that when I take in this position, I myself become connected to something bigger than the what I what 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 sometimes people make me believe. Right? They make me believe that I am in part of the small cycle. Meanwhile, there's a, such a big cycle happening and it works perfect, right? Black and white are perfectly living next to each other. We get divided, right? Either way, doesn't matter. One side is trying, of course, to connect with the other side. 
and the other side doesn't even want to connect to the other side, right? It's often like this, right? The red doesn't want to connect with the blue. Why? Because blue is like water. And water can um, diminish the fire. And the fire is scared of the water. Now, the water itself is not scared of the fire because when we, when the water connects with fire, we can make tea, right? So we can drink tea. The other way around is when fire connects with water, it could be distinguished, right? So there is an element of, of course, and interesting enough, the water is more emotional and the emotional side wants to connect with the reason side. The reason side doesn't want to connect with the emotional side, right? It's almost like has this barrier. So here you are connecting to the original um, Cancer card, which is the Queen of Cups, right? We have here a few Queen of Cups. As you can see, she sits on the shore. These are two angels watching the cup. Right, the Holy Grail, here she again in Alistair Crawley, very much, she lies here, she's very beautiful, emotional, this woman here, she's um, the Venus von Willendorf, very old um, sign of femin feminine nature, and then here, of course, another beautiful card. Right, so it's just that you see, I don't want to spend too much time in these cards uh, because I want to get to the reading. <laughs> right, I've noticed that uh, I've been I've been um, going into these cards because it's important that you know what's going on with the sun where is the sun and it's important for you to know where is the moon right and i think sometimes i was going a little too deep into it but this is also because i'm not really doing these readings to please you guys because I don't want to sound like I, I don't care. I do care very much. I care to the, to the extent that I want to learn and grow myself in these readings. And I do it public. And when you do it public, right, of course, you put yourself out, out there, right? And when you put yourself out there, it means that you want to share something but it's it doesn't have to be shared to the extent where it pleases others right sometimes the truth isn't pleasing and sometimes we need to look at the reality of things we need to look at the fact that we are biased me as a woman i'm biased i'm emotional rather right because i'm a feminine personality and you, uh, Cancer, are very emotional as well, right? You're very empathic, you're sensitive, you always ready to help because you're connected to the moon, right? And you, of all people, know what it means to, to be with the right people, to be with people who also can see that the lessons to be learned in these readings is to learn more and more to accept the opposite. And this is actually why I'm doing this, right? I'm doing these readings so that I can learn um, again and again to grow into an understanding of black and white. And that means that I don't have to please the other. I have to tell the truth. I have to tell the black is black and the white is white. And in between is the gray zone. 
in the gray zone here where the, we can see here is letting you know that your friends or friendship that the three of cups mercury in cancer this is your card and then the moon in cancer these are you two cards three and four of cups and in this realization of you have friends you have celebration you have abundance and you have also a certain luxury you looking at this and you're a little bit full of yourself on top of it you get another cup but it's not really making you happy so here comes a young generation the earth the page of earth and the young generation this is demeter demeter is the greek goddess of earth and here in germany we don't buy organic we buy demeter certified demeter when you buy a certified from a demeter um, business it's even more restricted than just organic and she looks away from her and she looks at the time where you maybe had a good time and now you a little like okay I gotta right you gotta get the call to take care of yourself you were maybe too much in this um, fun because I would accept this card as a positive card if she wouldn't have a face like that for me the face it's it's like this kind of like I'm bored I'm bored but for some reason a young generation is looking away from you and saying hey you got to be kidding me <laughs> you got to be kidding me what are you doing right what's going on and of course this young generation could also be you and you're saying okay here I am ready to start my independence start here with a Capricorn to look at money right plucking your fruits that you worked from a young age on right so you got away from a lifestyle of sometimes they even say this could be too much drinking now if it comes with four of cups it's could be it could be that there is a little bit of like something going on where you got a little indulged into maybe the alcohol right it's not not like like crazy right with another card i would say yeah maybe right so there was some drinking involved and someone gave you another cup and you were like nah i don't want to drink anymore and you started to go out there and say all right i want to do i want to physically again make financial my backup and she of course this is the the capricorn she's a capricorn this is virgo uh venus in virgo so here you are plucking your fruits plucking and look at him he is pisces and Pisces is a charmer so you are because you worked because you are here with your financial background really safe so now you can go out and actually find your partner and this is a Leo so the full moon will be in Leo and something is coming to a closure in Leo there is a love energy that is coming to you
a lot of pentacles coming to you, right? The seven of pentacle very clearly is Saturn and Taurus, and that's always looking after the financial aspect, looking after the money. And you do, right? You decided to clearly go and make your... Uh, make 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 the money the money that you feel is important to you. The, this young idea, this young generation wants to gain money, but in a new way, of course, right? So we are shifting. Maybe this coronavirus came to us and said, "Okay, we cannot continue like this anymore. The way we depleting the earth." We need to attend the earth, we need to look after it, we need to make sure that we take care of it. And of course she is one of those women who will take care of it. Virgos too, right? Virgo is like, she likes to gain money, but not in a way where she is going against the earth. Okay, one more card, right? I let one more set fall out, however come out, right? Because if I have one more, then I have nine, and there it is. <laughs> so the love for the earth will give you strength to look after and make a fresh new start. A fresh new financial start. Right? So it's almost like, so this is the reading, right? So it's almost like saying, you got an information, you have this abundance, you have these friends, but it could also be that there is a little too much fun, too much party going on. The three cups are here, so you got an extra cup, but something in you became stale, became stagnant, became, you know, there was no growth involved anymore. Then either a child of yours or yourself was, a, you were able to look at this situation and say, I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm getting away, right? She's literally like, I'm doing it another way. I don't want... She's longingly looking at her Three of Cups at a time where that's over, right? Everything is changing and shifting. So she's looking away. Where she's looking at, look at that. She's looking at, one day I will have my own money. One day I will reap the fruits and these are good fruits, tasty fruits, not like pushed to the brink of like we need to produce like we do with the cows, we do with the, with the wheat, we do with everything that we do so far. We don't give it its time anymore to ripen. It's like pushing, pushing quicker, faster, right? We need to feed these people and the people, they're letting, literally like, well, uh, they're delivering. We don't even go and save the food, we throw things away, we don't have respect for it. Maybe also the young generation is now showing us, hey, have more respect. So then there is the love, right? You're searching for this love, a love that gives you the strength to be strong enough to stand up and to say, no more, I do it in a different way. And that's it. You get up. And it almost looks like it's the same person. You see this? It's the same guy. It's kind of cool. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles is Saturn in Taurus. And Saturn is structure, discipline, time, social order, right? And... 
Taurus is this like earthier, you cannot get more earthier, it's even more earth than this. It's the king of pentacles. Taurus is like earth and you put your fingers back into the earth to make things grow. What's at the bottom of the deck is ooh, five of Five of Swords, Five of Swords, and as you can see, Venus in Aquarius, so Aquarius time, which is right now, right, the hope, the star, it's, it's showing you that through the Four of Swords, through the meditation, you will able to understand these cycles because everything is cyclical everything comes back whatever I put out will come back right away so I just want to see why you got the five of swords here how come Because the only two cards I need to look at is the Four of Cups. Why are you bored? And why are you, you mentally in a place of defeat? You feel defeated. You don't have to be defeated at all. I mean, it happens, right? We have certain days where, okay, sometimes it feels like, even for me, right? I do the best I can to stay connected. I do the best I can to not give in into the negative. And right now, of course, a lot of people are questioning the next cycles so like what is this year going to bring a lot of people are going to lose their their job you're not you really working on it. attending the earth and the ace of pentacles is saying yeah you will again get the next seat Okay, so let's look first at the Four of Cups. Give me one card for the Four of Cups. Why are you bored? Why are you... not enjoying the fact that you get another cup. Four is usually stability, emotional stability. Okay, two more. No, thank you. Hmm, interesting. So the Four of Cups got the King of Cups. That's a Scorpio. So maybe you have a father, right, that is giving you everything and you never really learned to work for things. Maybe you are bored now because you never really learned how to love from your from yourself because you only love you're only happy when you have your friends. Right? You're only happy when you have uh, others that distract you from looking at yourself. Or it's there is a love that has overbearing you, overbear you, right? It gave you too too much, and you don't even realize anymore what it means to be loved. And Scorpio is in November, right? And Scorpio is the search for love and you are Cancer. So it could also be that you are 
about to learn to bring yourself into an equilibrium and it's again man and woman right so you're the woman you're the healer and he's the healer and there lies maybe the this cup this cup right is coming overflowing from a person that you maybe not even take serious anymore you see that he is this cup and you're just like yeah and you focus on work And there is a friend saying, you know what, I also don't want. I don't want to spend time with you. I want to do my own thing. Or you literally yourself, right, yourself are going and saying, you know, I don't want to be with these friends anymore. And the love, the overbearing love that is coming down. It's interesting because sometimes, right, doing a reading, it's, trust me, it's not easy. There's, while I'm talking, there's all these other options that are like swirling in my head of what else I could say and there's almost sometimes it's too much or sometimes I even feel stuck in a in a way and I'm trying to see another way but you can see he's this really beautiful emotional person he even speaks to the fish And it's almost like he wants to talk to her and she doesn't want to listen. Hey, come. Yeah, I don't want. Right, so there's an emotional situation going on and and then there's this young generation that is putting you out of that and then you work right and look I mean you financially secure of course this could be a Capricorn coming to you and then of course here is a Pisces and here is a Leo so in people we have you Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Leo. So there are five people. One, two, three, four, five with you. Maybe, and let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Two of fire, planning. Maybe you're planning a new business. Yeah, you're planning a new business. You're planning to, and it will work, because you know, you put your love in there. And these are the four people, you already have three people. And there's a fourth person coming. The three people are these three people you working with. A Capricorn. A Pisces and a Leo. And now there's a fourth person coming which is this extra cup. You see that? 
one, two, three, one, two, three. And Scorpio is coming and adding a whole nother dimension to the financial and a maturity to the love because this is the knight and then this is the king. See where I'm going with this? And there's a maturity happening in these Pisces through the work. Through the financial growing up, there's a maturity happening to this Pisces, to this Knight of Cups, because then it becomes the King of Cups. And you keep working. And the two of fire, that is Mars and Aries, right? And Mars and Aries, that's just like fire, fire, planning, planning, going for something that's really important to you. And of course, here with the five of swords is these five people finding a common ground between the Scorpio, the Cancer, the Capricorn, the Pisces, and the Leo. And that's not easy. Right here, the four people and you. Let's see what's underneath. Yeah. Ten Mars and Pisces, right? So you're searching, you're searching, you're really searching. And you're getting you getting emotional satisfaction coming to more love. More love is being brought to you. The only way to cure unhappiness is by giving more love. The only cure by helping someone that's not fair is giving more love. And this is really what he does more attention, more love to the details, attention to things can grow. So there has been an imbalance in your life. There has been something overbearing. Too much love and you weren't able to understand it. And then you had to go into a more financial road, which you love, right? You love to have money, you love to have the power, the strength that money brings. And then you started searching for love, searching for more connection to what you're doing and then you put your attention into the work differently. It's almost like you between these three maybe you were bored at work and then the, the new, new generation brought in a whole new awareness to you how to work. You shifted the way of how to work and you found a new love and the strength through that to start working again fresh. And the five, right, is always Venus in Aquarius, meaning you, you defeat made you to go further, right, plan further, even sometimes it can feel difficult, but there is something that you can eventually say, Mars and Pisces, I'm satisfied, I did it, I were was able to 
transform myself through a boredom in work. I was able to transform myself and come again together with my friends and work with my friends. That's it. Right? And you plan. You're planning your next step. You're planning your next endeavor in a time that's 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 a little uh, uncertain right now. We don't know. But it's the young generation that can help us. Always. So go for it. Go for this new idea. Go for this plan. Even though it gives you headache, right? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if it gives you headache, do it. Get through it. Just do it. It will be good. It will be good for you. It will transform you, right? So everything in that we do transforms us. Brings us closer and closer to who you really are. To a, a true balance. To a true inner awareness. That's really why we're here. We're here to grow. We're here to become more lovable, more attentive to the details, so that the next seed can grow. Cool. Well, then, uh, thank you for watching. I see you in the next round, when the sun is in uh, Pisces. Right, the sun is in Pisces. I think that's when you begin to really understand a deeper level. Love is worth to be worked on. Love is worth to be protected, to, to, to protect. Cool. Then I see you in the next month. Thank you for watching. Namaste.